everyone coming to you on this Tuesday from the kitchen I'm just gonna put this rubbish in the bin quickly though <laughs> so it is a new week um, I'm looking a bit bedraggled because I got in from work collected Archie from the groomer who's looking very handsome here he is looking delicious are you looking so delicious he really needed a groom because his hair was so long and it's so hot um, yeah, collected him from the groomers and then I did a um, free antenatal course with a company called Blossom Antenatal and it was a free breastfeeding course over Zoom, so that was fun. Um, but I am so tired, so I do look a bit bedraggled. I've just been like lounging on the couch listening to the um, Zoom call. Um, it was quite funny when I brought, well it wasn't funny, it was awful actually, <laughs> but it's funny now. And when I brought Archie home from the groomers, Margot didn't recognise him and she was absolutely terrified. She was barking, screaming, she like snapped at his face when he went to sniff her. She was absolutely terrified, she did not realise that it was him at all. And finally, now she's realised it's him and they're like playing together again, but oh my gosh I was so worried that they were going to have a fight or something because she was so upset. Update, we had our anatomy scan yesterday or an anomaly scan. Um, I think in America they call like the 20 week scan the anatomy scan and then in the UK they call it the anomaly scan. I prefer anatomy because you don't want to be reminded that they're checking for abnormalities or anomalies but that is essentially what it is. Um, but thankfully everything they could see looked okay and the sonographer confirmed that she thinks baby is a girl. Um, so I'll show you my picture. We didn't get um, loads of pictures, can you even see? There she is. <laughs> we didn't get loads of pictures, um, which is a shame because they took some cute ones of like her hands and feet and stuff, but that's okay. I've had so many scans now that we've got such a collection of scan photos on the fridge. Um, and I'm gonna have growth scans as well, and probably a 4D scan at a private clinic, so. I really do have a little collection. Um, anyway, speaking of baby girl, uh, one of my colleagues at work, she's so sweet, she's bought a present for the baby and put it in this adorable bag. So I thought we could open it together. A little star is born. Not that she's born yet, but you know. Oh, It's so cute. It's a, one of those lovely bobbly blankets. How cute. Oh, that's so kind of her. I will definitely message her a big thank you. Getting presents for the baby is so exciting. I don't, I don't know why, it just really is. So yeah, for the rest of the day, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I really want to film a flip through of my 2020 scrapbook that I've pretty much finished and um, get that edited and uploaded. Um, the lighting's okay, so I might be able to get it done. Um, my laptop's actually broken at the moment, so I'm having to use my work laptop, which I've got at home at the moment. Um, so yeah, it's <laughs> it's a bit of a pain, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do when I have to give the work laptop back. Um, they might let me keep it over the summer until I can get my laptop sorted, I don't know. But yeah, my laptop is broken at the moment, so doing videos and everything is a real pain in the butt. Um, but yeah, that is my Tuesday so far. Would you just look at this handsome boy? Oh, here comes his sissy. Hello. You're such a silly girl, aren't you? <laughs> Are you silly? Hello everyone, happy Thursday. I've just got home from work. I still look exactly the same as I have done pretty much every time I've filmed lately because it is so hot. Like I cannot wear my hair any other way. My makeup is melting off. I've had a mask on as well, so I'm hot. But um, I've just got home from uh, Morrison's and B&M and I thought I'd show you what I bought. I actually went to get thank you cards or like good luck cards for the kids at school because it's the last day tomorrow. And as usual, I've left everything to the last minute and I couldn't get any anywhere. So I'm going to pop to Sainsbury's as a last ditch attempt to get some um, a little bit later on. But I've gone through my personal stash of cards and I've managed to get 19 cards that could work. So um, we'll see. <laughs> 
So, excuse uh, Winnie having a drink in the background, but I popped two Morrisons and I got this gorgeous smock dress in this like sagey green colour. And um, I got a size 10 because it looked reasonably roomy, but I'll try it on. Um, and it was £15. And then of course I had to have a little look at the baby stuff and I didn't have any intention of buying anything because obviously it's all like summery prints and um, summery like cuts at the moment and baby is going to be born in the winter or like autumn, late autumn. Um, but I couldn't resist this print so I ended up buying it in a much bigger size and if we end up not needing it for whatever reason um, or she never fits into it or whatever, um, I'll just gift it to somebody else. I'll leave the tags on it but I couldn't resist it because it's so beautiful. Um, so I got the little snuggle bunny and then the two bodysuits. I just think that floral is stunning. And then the leggings. It's got little bunnies on them and they've got a ruffly bum. And I think, you know, if you can't put your baby daughter in leggings with a ruffly bum, just not a lot of point <laughs> and then from b and I actually just got this basket and a um, glue stick um, and some chocolate actually um, because I want to put our shoes in a basket at the bottom of the stairs and get rid of our shoe rack because it's going to be in the way when we have a buggy um, and it's just ugly anyway so I'm going to chuck our shoes that we're wearing day to day at the moment in here uh, that was £8 and they had a few different options but I think this one's going to be the best because Will has massive feet so his shoes are really long and um, I needed something that would be easy for him to get the shoe in and out of. And then the next thing, sorry about the neighbour's dog barking, they've got window cleaners in I think and the dog is barking and it's um, setting Archie off as well. Um, but yeah, I also bought this beautiful garland for the baby's nursery. I bought this last week. Um, it's been on my wish list ever since I found out I was pregnant, basically, and um, I've wanted one for the nursery. Um, I bought it on a whim when I saw that the shop was open, because she's not open very often, and um, in hindsight, I paid far too much money for something this small, but it's beautiful, the quality's gorgeous, the stitching is gorgeous, and I want her nursery to be full of, like, special things that make me smile and this is the exact like color scheme that we're going for in her nursery as well and um, so i've got a few little bits now to go up in her nursery but i can't show them to you <laughs> one of them's got her name on um but yeah this is absolutely beautiful and i can't wait to get started on the nursery <laughs> Everybody. Happy Monday. We are at the caravan for a couple of days. My parents are in a caravan in Hailing Island. <coughs> oh dear. <laughs> and um, we come here as often as we can. Some years we like don't even get down here at all and then others um, we like share it between all of the family members all year long. Um, but we're here for a couple of days um, for a few just days away, a few days of peace. Um, and we've got the dogs with us, so maybe not so much peace, um, but they've been okay so far. We're just going to head off for a walk. It is quite warm here today, actually. It's like 21 degrees, I think, but because it's by the coast, it's really breezy, so the dogs should be okay for a short walk. Um, if not, we will come back straight away because I, I don't let them overheat. Um, so yeah, there's little Margot in the background, <laughs> um, and I'm going to get their harnesses on ready to go. Winnie's not feeling it. She's got her head under the blanket. The rest of her body's out of the blanket. <laughs> oh, what's she doing? What's she doing? It's very windy.
a lovely walk to the beach <laughs> and it was Margot's biggest walk yet. We've been very careful not to overwalk her, like not at all. So that was the longest walk she's ever done and now she's tired. Archie's a bit hot so we've got all the fans going and Winnie's taken herself straight to bed <laughs> again. Hey guys, so I'm now looking super windswept, um, but we had such a lovely walk down to the beach as I hoped. Um, it was sunny but like really nice and cool so the dogs were fine, it was so windy. I got some cute pictures while we were down there um, and now I am watching some TV. The dogs are all having like a little nap, it's like half five-ish now I think. Um, and Will has gone to the supermarket to pick up some food for the next couple of days and he's getting us fish and chips as well because a takeaway on the first night of a caravan trip is a little tradition for us we normally get chinese but the one that we like is closed on a monday so he's getting fish and chips instead but i thought i would quickly show you my dress and a uh, baby bump because i realized i haven't actually done that in any videos like showing you my bump and i'm more than halfway through now so I just wanted to show you this dress, it's the one I picked up from Morrison's the other day and it is so comfy and I feel like I don't really even look pregnant in it at all. Um, it's got a mark on it because one of the dogs sat on me on the beach but um, it's so comfy and I found that I've kind of like expanded literally like overnight. Um, my rib cage has really expanded, like none of my bras fit me for example anymore, um, like just around the back. Um, and my leggings and trousers and stuff don't fit me all of a sudden so I am loving this smock style dress and I don't know how to show you bump without losing the camera angle so if I put my hand there you can see where bump actually is she's in there she's pretty it's getting a bit chunky now <laughs> Evening everyone, I'm back in my spot on the couch. Um, it's Wednesday evening. Um, we had a super lazy day yesterday after not getting much sleep the night before um, because of the storm. We basically stayed in all of yesterday apart from like a brief trip out to the shop um, and I needed it really. I was tired, <laughs> like really tired. Um, but I was also super bored. So today we got up, we had a fairly slow morning and then we went on a really long walk and we got back um, 
just after lunchtime we were out walking for a few hours we've been so lucky with the weather like apart from the thunderstorm it was forecast to rain the whole time we were here and it's been sunny the whole time it was super windy which was actually quite good because even though it was sunny it was so windy that the dogs were totally fine to be out it was like perfect weather um so we went on a really long walk with the dogs and um they loved it and then they got totally like worn out oh they're all up now what are they all up to um <laughs> and um came home had lunch i had a nap because i was so tired after such a long walk and then my sister came to visit my sister lives five minutes away from the caravan so she came to visit uh for a couple of hours with her kids and that was really nice margot's trying to jump up <laughs> And uh, now Wills has gone out to get dinner. It's about seven o'clock and we're going to have a Chinese. So lovely. It's our eight year anniversary tomorrow. Um, I think I mentioned it at the beginning of the vlog, but like I've been feeling a little bit of like mixed emotions because um, our first baby should have been born this week. Um, it would have been like today or yesterday, I think. Um, so, yeah, we've got our eight year anniversary, which is lovely, but it's definitely like mixed emotions. Um, because obviously this week we should have been becoming parents for the first time. It's very sad and like still really difficult and I have actually brought it up to a few people like I had sort of mentioned it to some of my friends and not really got any um, support or comfort from any of them to be honest. I think people just don't know what to say but I wish people would just say something. I feel a bit like baby has been forgotten by everyone um even though I've mentioned it nobody nobody really acknowledges it and it's sad and it's difficult um but anyone who's been through a loss will know what that feels like I'm sure and I'm sure they'll understand how I feel right now as well um obviously we're very grateful to be growing our little girly um at the moment it's 17 ish weeks till she's hopefully with us um but it's still very sad that we lost a baby and that they should have been born this week it's still very sad so yeah lots of mixed emotions but I'm looking forward to our anniversary tomorrow not that we're doing anything we'll be cleaning the caravan packing up and going home because Will's got work again on Friday but it's just been so nice to be here and be away from home have a little break switch off enjoy some nice long walks and just like be in each other's company i packed so much craft stuff and haven't used any of it so <laughs> um but yeah sometimes you just want to chill don't you it's thursday we're heading home caravan is spotless my 22 week bump is popping today <laughs> baby girl is out there love this dress though so comfy Hello everybody, happy Saturday. Um, Thursday we came home from the caravan, it was our eight year anniversary and we spent it packing up the van, cleaning the van, <laughs> driving home. We actually unpacked straight away this time which is like unheard of for us. Um, and then we went out to home base to get paint for the baby's nursery because I really want to start doing that in the next few days. Um, and then yesterday, which was Friday, I spent the whole day with my mum and she sent me home with a big box of stuff that she's been collecting for the baby, so I thought I would show you it. The dishwasher's on, so I apologise for that, but my mum loves making stuff. Um, we actually went to a fabric shop yesterday and she picked up a bunch of fabric because she's been making these little TV toys um, for the babies, my baby and obviously my brother's. Um, they've got like toweling on the back, fabric on the front and then like a teething ring. Obviously you don't leave them unattended with that sort of toy. Um, but yeah, she's obsessed with making them. <laughs> she also bought this like wicker rainbow for the baby's room, which is so cute. Um, she made a pom-pom garland. Um, she got the pom-poms and then made them into a garland for the room. Um, she bought me this nappy caddy from Amazon and then she's filled it up with a bunch of like baby toiletries. 
So obviously when I actually use this as a nappy caddy, I will just have like nappies and like changing stuff in here and like muslins and things. Um, but she's filled it with um, like lotion and body wash and things like that that we can use later on um, when the baby is a bit older. There's like soaps and nappy creams and wipes and stuff like that. And then she also placed an order for the next sale and bought a few bits and bobs as well. Um, I'm not gonna show you those in detail because I think I want to do a separate video where I show you all of the clothes I've got for the baby so far. Um, I know that's not gonna be interesting to everyone, but I want it sort of like for my own memories. Um, but yeah, I love this nappy caddy. It's so cute. We are home. We went to Costco and Ikea. We picked up some cleaning supplies in Costco, but Will's also got this little pack of three board books that he wanted to get for the baby so they can go in her bedroom. And then um, in Ikea, we got dime bars because as I just said to myself <laughs> before I started filming, no Ikea trip is complete without buying a bag of these dime bars. And then we got stuff for uh, the nursery. So I picked up this A4-ish frame because I've got an A4 print in the post on the way to me. I'm not sure if this will work for what I wanted it for yet, but we'll give it a go. If not, it was like £2 or something. So I can always reuse it somewhere else or just give it away to somebody. Um, and then we got the chest of drawers like changing table thing which I'll put a picture of here because I don't know when we're actually going to build it and then I'll show you my mini trolley. So I saw these for the first time um, last time we went to Ikea a few weeks ago. It's basically a miniature version of the Rascog. Now pretty much every crafter I know has got a Rascog including myself. I've got a turquoise one in my craft room um, and I picked this one up in cream. It's like I say a mini one. They're called the Rash Alt Trolleys. It was £29 and I thought it'd be really good post C-section to load it up with everything I'm going to need for the day. So like bottles of water, snacks, um, muslins, uh, my nappy caddy could even sit in the top. Um, so that when I'm sat on the sofa with the baby during the day, um, recovering from the C-section and probably like constantly breastfeeding, I don't have to keep disturbing Will to come and help me get stuff because obviously post C-section, I'm not going to be able to just constantly be up and down getting everything I need. I don't want to hurt myself. I want to recover as well as possible. So I thought this would be really handy. So while we were there, I thought I would grab it um, and I'm going to put it together at some point to make sure all the pieces are there and it's all fine and everything. Um, but yeah, I thought it'd be really handy. And if I don't end up using it for that, then I'm sure I'll find some <laughs> other use for it. But I just love it. They excited me so much. Hey everyone, happy Sunday. Um, I'm not going to show myself <laughs> on camera because I'm in my pyjamas. Haven't even washed my face today. I've been doing lots of housework all morning and now I'm shattered. But there's still just so much that I want to do. So I'm going to try and power on and get a few things done this afternoon. But I thought I would quickly show you the paint, I think I put up a picture of it um, the other day, but here it is anyway. It's the Simply Refresh One Coat by Dulux in Pressed Petal. So that's going to be the colour of the nursery. And then also, I can't remember if I ever showed you this little rocking chair that I picked up for the corner of her room. Um, and then I've just chucked a little blanket over the back and my mum made that cushion. Um, and then we got a sausage dog basket the other day and we'll... Um, bought some books for her so I've popped those down there just sort of like having a play around and see how um, I want things to look in her room <laughs> but her stuff is just everywhere um, so we really want to get the room sorted out ASAP um, so this coming week I'm going to do as much as I can to sort out the nursery and like the rest of the house there's so many jobs I want to get done um, look at that rain by the way wow 